Summoner's Rift is the battleground for constant battles and toxic players, but something I've noticed after so much time spent in League of Legends is all the detail that went into the new version of Summoner's Rift, from the new creatures to the random details scouted around the map, and it's those little details, those hidden things that can be found, that I'm here to point out. So, let's get into it. Number 10. This brown bird. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're a giant nerd, it's just a silly bird. And to that I respond, aren't we all silly birds? Really though, I just put this bird at number 10 because I didn't notice it before and... You know, it's a bird. You can't go wrong with birds. Number 9. The dragon flying off the map. This one is more well known, which is part of the reason it has to be included. For many people, seeing this majestic creature was rather surprising. Awe-inspiring, even. Or, you just saw it and thought it was kinda neat. Which is probably the case. Number 8. The engravings near the Nexus. I'd like to think these translate into the last words of players getting out of bronze, or maybe they translate into champions yet to be released, or maybe they translate into absolutely nothing. All completely viable. Number 7. The dragon engraving in the dragon pit. I'm going to assume that the dragon hired some folks to make this art piece so that he'll always, you know, be nowhere to land, stuff of that sort. After all, there is a lot of pits out there. It has to be clear for the dragon, otherwise he might fly off to the Arctic. I mean, come on, let's say you were the dragon. What if you were to start flying to the Arctic? You wouldn't like that. Number six. For number six, we're going to put this unfortunate looking gnome rock along with the sword rock next to it. And I'm no, I'm not exactly sure what it means or why it's here, but I do have to say the gnome looks very sad. Like, looks like he seems to dark times. He has a crack through his helmet. He has a triangle on it. So, you know, maybe he was part of the Illuminati and he got kicked out of it. Like, that's a tough way to go, man. But I hope life gets better for him because as of now, he just seems really sad and, you know, kind of makes me th reflect on my own life and makes me sad. And the, the poor, the poor guy. Look at him. He does. He doesn't deserve this. No one, no one does. Number five. The waterfall's located in the mid lane. It's more architecture that's crazy to ignore. But look at it. It's a little bird dude who just loves to release water into the land. What a nice guy. You can't go wrong with that. I mean, as a little beak, it's just, just the detail. The detail is there and we're ignoring these details. Number four. The helmet in the raptor nest. Yet another reference to our beloved helmet brother. May he rest in pieces. Though, if the raptors ate him, why did they keep his helmet? Then yet, none of his other armor is seen. Maybe he donated it. After all, armored raptors would pretty much take over the world within a few seconds. Which, I would be just fine with, but, you know, I'm just saying, Helmet Brother may not be a hero after all. Number 3. This Gromp Rock. Again, you would think I would have noticed this, but it's surprisingly easy to skip over details like this. At least, um, for me it is. As for the rock itself, you know, maybe it's the Gromp's father, or maybe it's a memoriam to all the Gromps that have died over the years. Both are extremely likely. It's nifty. We're at number two! The Baron Pit. There's a lot of nifty things in the Baron Pit that for somehow I've never really noticed. There's a pole arm slash battle axe thing, there's a mini sword there, there's some other swords there, there's two shields, there's two helmets, but the most interesting thing of all is there's the old Baron skull, which I don't know what to think of that, but you know, if this is like some younger Baron that, you know, he finally gave away, he finally retired, that's good, but I question why his skull's there. I'm, I'm just saying, the new Baron may be a murderer, which shouldn't necessarily surprise anyone, but I'm just saying keep your eyes out, you never, you never know. Number one. This mural in the top lane. While it's easy to make fun of the world and the lore of League of Legends, this mural is just pretty dang nice looking. Yes, it's rather large, so it isn't necessarily hidden, but you know, that goes for a lot of fans on this list. And it's easy to, but you know, it's easy to walk past, and really, it just looks nice. It's just a nice and great art piece in the stone about two soldiers getting ready for battle or something of the sort. It was probably that same bloke who made, you know, the dragon pit engraving. That guy needs a raise or something, but either way, that's a pretty cool engraving. 
that is just nifty that it's there. Anyways, that's 10 hidden-ish things around Summoner's Rift. I know a lot of them aren't necessarily hidden, but it's the fact that there are details on the Rift that, you know, maybe you didn't know about. If you didn't know, know about every single one of these, well, d deal with it. Thanks for watching!